Save the Children, a nonprofit organization, has brought over 650 schools and schoolrooms to youth and provided clean water, health care, and sanitation to 1 million people around the world. The Pally Club, Free the Children, does not want to be left behind, and through its members, they too are helping contribute to this awesome cause. We decided to join Free the Children because, well, I just decided to join because Savannah and Chloe um, told me a lot about their trips to Ecuador and the people who they met there who didn't really have enough and I wanted to help them. And I thought that it would be a good opportunity for my club. Free the Children is trying to uh, end child labor um, around the world and uh, so in this club we're going to adopt a village. Um, we haven't decided where yet but and uh, raise money for that village to buy food and build a school and that's what we're, that's what the project this year is. I talked to Emmy, who is the correspondent in the Palo Alto office that's helping us, and she said that all we need to do to start an adoptive village program was um, decide which part, if we want to do health, sanitation, and education. And it sounded like from what you guys said that you wanted to start with education. I hope I did not lie. Yeah? Okay. And all we need to do is have money to donate. So once we, we can have from like 50 to $500, I vote we get as much as we can. And yeah, so now we're gonna brainstorm ideas. I had both gone to Ecuador and I had been to their summer program and I was really inspired by the types of things the organization wanted to do and I wanted to stay involved. I think it'll make a really positive impact in the villages that we decide to help because it'll help bring education to kids who would not otherwise be educated and bring sanitation and clean water and all sorts of stuff and just help bring the town out of poverty. We're planning on educating younger people and other people in our community about Free the Children more and we're also planning on raising money and doing others like all sorts of fundraisers like bake sales so you guys should keep in touch with us and know that bake sales are coming. I think that will impact the community a lot and I think that we're going to spread awareness about other countries and poverty and and just overall world problems that we need to be aware of. Join Free the Children! For In Focus, I'm Amelia Sleevelong.